All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Francis Ngannou and Kamaru Usman. DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that through hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure that he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights, why? He's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. All right, here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou. Of course, he has challenged for UFC gold. He learned a lot in that fight against Stipe Miocic, but for my money, this is the biggest power threat, punch for punch, in the UFC today. It's unbelievable the amount of power that Francis Ngannou possesses. But as you said, he learned in the Miocic fight because how could he not be learning? He's only been fighting for about five, six years. So this guy is truly a blank canvas. Every day, he's getting better and better and better. And he's one of the guys that you can see that before long, he will be wearing the UFC heavyweight title. And he has certainly given back to his native Cameroon, founded the Francis Ngannou Foundation. They have opened a gym over there, but Ngannou still with a lot of work to do here in the Octagon, and that effort continues in earnest here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and God. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch yeah. balls. Yeah. 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 Ready. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great pseudo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his ground and will start to chase submission. 
All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Usman's right back to the full mount here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, you know, I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Under two minutes now to go. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Kamaru Usman. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Usman's back in full now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, 
Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, five minutes down. Here we go at the start of round two. Francis Ngannou. And that man, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Has a nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Plans the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Flush to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Look at the force behind that leg. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, instead? Yeah, I'm coaching high school wrestling. And he's saying, Ngannou, I say, I got a tournament this week, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Strong hook lands. Wow. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And now he lands a combination. Separate. Nice punch by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Another clinch position. Watch the tricky trip that he uses when he's in close. So 110 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence aids, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Under two minutes now to go. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Back mount now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna take armbar here. Oh, huge slam to the canvas right there in a nice way to fend off that armbar attempt by his opponent. Strike on the ground. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patty. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Body kick is blocked. Usman's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Usman gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, he's got his back now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands the ground and pound strike. Side control now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Now Usman really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You got a hip escape. You got to do something to get out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. He knows how to control the hips. He doesn't give you any outs when he's on top of you. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, side control now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kamaru Usman. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
Well, getting close to record totals now, just over 200 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Pretty good connection rate as well, landing with 59% accuracy tonight against Francis Ngannou. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Nice move to punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with a... Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem, put out Velasquez, put out Lil Santo, and he did it all with that beautiful level. Take a leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up at the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, in the that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! 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 Just over three minutes to go now. Less than three minutes to go here in round four. Under two minutes now to go. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Usman's has got full mount now. I need you to scramble, scramble. 
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Under one minute now to go in round four. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready, fight. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, effective strike there by Usman. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. A lot of power on display from Paul Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up through the middle with it. Just misses with the right. Oh, wow! Head kick. Vicious combo there. Just out of range with that right hook. And there comes the separation now. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Great punch. And they separate. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And Ganu gets caught by that straight hand. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh! Usman's kick attempt there, blocked. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Usman gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Man, 
man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Two minutes now to go on the fight. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ngannou. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. One minute to go in the fight. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Usman's right back to the full mount. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Declared the winner by split decision, Francis the Predator Ngannou! Woo, those split decisions are something else. He is happy to exhale at this point in time. It was a close fight, and the judges certainly felt that way as well. It's the worst feeling in the world. When you go to the middle and you're just not sure, your heart is beating so fast, especially when you hear your opponent's name called right. before you ultimately win the fight. He put in a lot of work. He fought through the adversity and got the job done. He should be very proud.